Hello, so in today's video, we're going to answer question three from the 2022 uh, Edexcel Paper 1 Pure Maths exam. So this was last year's exam in 2022, uh, Paper 1, and we're going to do question three. So he, in the previous two videos, he's done question one and question two on this exam. Today, we're going to do question three. So this question here, which is about circle, uh, circle geometry. OK, so we've got this equation here. So it's uh, x squared plus y squared. Take away 10x plus 16y equals 80. And part A of the question wants us to find the coordinates of the center of the circle. So obviously we can't really tell that just by looking at the equation here, what the center would be. So the technique that we need to use is completing the square. Because uh, once we complete the square, we can then clearly see what our coordinates would be. So I'm just going to rewrite the equation like this. We collect the uh, x terms together and so that we collect the y terms together. So something like this. So we're going to complete the square with the uh, the x terms there, and we're going to complete the square with the y terms there. So when we do it with the uh, x terms, so you're completing the square, we put an x in there. Uh, we're going to subtract. Well, we're going to subtract half of that coefficient there. So subtract five, square the entire thing, and then subtract this number there squared, which is twenty five, and then we're going to add again completing the square with our y terms. Uh, y half the coefficient there to get a positive eight square that and then subtract the square of this number there, which is 64, because uh, 8 squared is 64. And that's going to be equal to 80. And then we can just add the 24, sorry, the 25 to both sides, the 64 to both sides. And then if we do that, we get x minus 5 all squared plus y plus 8 uh, all squared is equal to 80 plus 64 plus 25. Um, I can't do that in my head. Let me just use a calculator. Uh, 80 plus 64 plus 25, we get 169. So it's 169 there. Okay, so our center, therefore, we can tell just by looking at the equation here what the center will be. The center is going to be 5, so the negative of this number there. So it's going to be 5, and our uh, y value is going to be negative 8, so the negative of that number there. Uh, so that would be our center. And then for part I, I of part A, what is the radius of the circle? So the radius is obviously the square root of this number at the end there. Uh, so square root the um, 169, and that's going to give you 13. So 13 is the radius. So that would be that question done there. So now we can go on to part B. So given that P is the point on the circle furthest away from the origin Find the exact length of O to P. So we've got, um, I mean, with, with this kind of question, it's always good to draw like a diagram just so you can kind of visualize what's happening. So we've got uh, the X and Y axis like this. So Y there, uh, X there. Uh, we've got this center, this circle uh, with this equation there. It's got a center of five, zero, five and minus eight. So maybe five across there, minus eight. Let's just say somewhere there. So you've got your center there. And we'll call this C. Uh, that's minus eight and that's five. And then you've got a radius of 13. So um, if you've got a radius of 13, it's going to look something, it's going to go above the x axis, going to kind of look something like that, I would imagine, something like this. Um, so you've got a circle like that. You've got your origin, which is in the middle. So, you're, well, in the middle of the axes. So your origin is going to be there. And we want to work out uh, the, well, we want to find the exact length of OP where P is the point on the circle furthest away from the origin. So the point furthest away from the origin, well, it's obviously not going to be anywhere near here where we're really close to the origin. The point furthest away from the origin is going to be the point, if we draw a line up from the center, to there and then continue that line going to there that's going to be the point furthest away from our origin so uh this straight line ocp uh that point p will be the furthest away from the origin there um because again if we take like a point there there or there 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 we're going to be closer to the origin than than this point p so this point p is directly uh, a line going from the middle through the, the center at c over to p so we know the center there is uh five and minus eight so we know that so what we can do is work out this length from o to c uh let me try and um just gonna rub this out a little bit just to uh emphasize it this is the center c so let's try and work out the length o to c so the length o to c um and what i'm going to do is just use modular science to emphasize that this is a length so that's going to be using pythagoras so uh, you've got a, a length there of five. You've got a height there of eight, essentially. So it's just going to be five squared 
plus 8 squared. And then we can just uh, simplify all this. So 25 plus 64. Uh, 25 plus 64 will give us 18. Uh, yeah, 89. So you get the square root of 89 there. So that's going to be the length O to C. And then the length C to P, well, that's just 13. And why is it 13, this length going from C to P? Well, because uh, that's the radius. So the center to the end of the circle, that's the radius. So that's going to be 13. So we know that C to P is going to be 13. So therefore, the length O to P, so therefore O to P uh, is going to be 13 plus root 89. And that would be our length. So that's the longest length away from the... Um, away from the origin of the, of the circle. That's the longest possible length that we can have. Um, so yeah, that answers that question. So this question was just using completing the square to obtain the radius in the uh, center of the circle. And then realizing that, yeah, the, the, the point which is gonna be furthest away from the origin will be um, on the line which passes through the center. So um, the line from O to P which passes through the center will be that line which gives you the greatest distance from the origin. So your point there is going to be uh, 13 plus root 89. So that distance from there to there is root 89. So 13 plus root 89 away from the origin. So that's how you would answer that question there.